All right, thanks a lot. Joining me now is a member of Notre Dame's class of 1986 and the current dean of the College of Arts and Letter, John McGreevy. Good to see you here, John. As dean, he's responsible for the overall vision and strategy of the university's oldest and largest college, home to nearly 500 faculty, nearly 3,000 undergrads, 1,000 graduate students, and 20 academic departments. Dean, thanks for joining us on Notre Dame Day. Great to be here, Brandon. Great thanks. to have you. And I'm loving that, that, that half zip there. Good. I got to find me one of those. My Notre Dame wear. I love it. Now, with all the new construction going on around campus, the college is getting some great new space. So uh, what does that mean for arts and letters programs? You know, in terms of facilities, this is the biggest year in the history of the College of Arts and Letters. It, it's very exciting. Um, as you mentioned, we'll have three new buildings, Nanovic Jenkins, which will house economics, sociology, and political science. And for the first time, those departments will be together. And then Corbett on Crossroads, the east side of Crossroads, which yeah. will have anthropology, psychology, and then, as you know, the Digital Media Center on the first floor, which is for the whole university, but we think it will be a particular appeal to our film, television, theater students. And then the south side of the uh, Crossroads project uh, is O'Neill Hall, which will have music and sacred music. So for us as a whole, that six departments get an entirely state-of-the-art, brand new home. It's very exciting. That is really exciting. I'm sure the students are going to love that yeah. and the faculty as well. Now, I understand you're launching a uh, merit scholarship program in Latino studies. Can you uh, tell us some more about that? We are. Um, Latino studies, we feel, is just something Notre Dame has to be great at. We have to make the Notre Dame of the 21st century as welcoming and as open to Latino Catholics as the Irish and Italian Catholics felt like they owned Notre Dame in the 20th century. And mm -hmm. we're going to fail as a Catholic university if we don't do, do a great job in Latino studies. As part of that, we're kicking off a new merit scholarship program where students from all backgrounds who are passionate about giving back to the Latino community can get a $25,000 a year merit scholarship. Mm. And the first four students should be joining us this fall. We're just, we've just made our offers and we're waiting to see who's gonna say yes by May 1st. That's pretty exciting stuff yeah. there with that program and uh, important work as well. Now, uh, can you tell me about this 48 hour event uh, that uh, your department's doing with the new media club that uh, happened last weekend? That sounds uh, like a big task. It was really fun. Um, <laughs> it wasn't that big and of course I wasn't doing it either, but uh, one of our alums, Fred Graver, class of 76, mm -hmm. who worked on The Daily Show and David Letterman and was very prominent and worked for Twitter in the world of comedy writing. Uh, he decided through our Media Entertainment Leadership Committee, which is something that I've begun to try and get more students and uh, internships and jobs in that industry, mm -hmm. to come back to campus for a weekend. And five teams of five students were told on Friday night, you have two days to make a movie. And here's one line that has to be in the movie, like, I have a yellow belt, was mm. one of the lines. And here's one person who needs to be mentioned in the movie, and one of the films was John Malkovich. <laughs> and the five students, five teams rather, of five students then broke up, spread around the campus, and they spent one day writing the movie, one day shooting it, and one day editing it. And then last night at seven, I went and saw the final product. And for movies made with two days, they were really pretty good. That's really awesome. Yeah, it's fun. Well, the idea is to try and get more of our students in the habit of making films so they're more competitive on the job market. That's, a, that's an awesome undertaking mm -hmm. there. That's a project that's be probably pretty stressful for students as well as they're getting I, in, I their think hands it is, dirty. But you know they had fun. Now, the department bought them free bagels in the morning and pizza oh. on Friday night. So oh, we did try and can't beat that. E can't beat that. Ease <laughs> it a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I mean, these are creative students and we're proud of them and we want them to feel like this is their Notre Dame and this is a great project. And I understand that was a part of a broader effort to get Notre Dame uh, more connected to the media and entertainment industry. Uh, tell us about that. So uh, I have felt for a number of years oh. that Notre Dame has really figured out how to place students and develop their careers on Wall Street. But we have a lot of students who want to be like you are mm -hmm. uh, in the broad media and entertainment world. Yeah. And the path there is a little bit less clear. And so we're mobilizing our alumni uh, through this group we founded called the Media and Entertainment Leadership Committee to try and build more of an alumni student community around this world and help give contacts and professional training to students who want to enter that world so they'll be more competitive when internships and jobs do appear. That's awesome. Well, thanks so much for joining us again. Pleasure, Brandon. Appreciate having you here.